Hi, welcome to Cairo Sales. Today we've got an update for you on new things on the Yolio R6 Aero disc. So, first off, we're running a 32, um, it's actually an 1132 cassette on the back. This is an Ultegra, um, one of the new, I think it's an R8, it's a CS R8000. Um, we're running it with a short cage drailer. Um, using the synchro shift that works perfectly um, what I'll do is I'll turn that upside down uh, after and we'll show you we've also sorted out the through axles and they now come right to the end of the uh, thread so I'll get those out we'll give them a look against the Yolio standard ones and we'll weigh them up we've also got some elite chrono CX aero bottles I don't usually ride two but um, I just put them on there so you can see what they look like. Um, they're nice and thin, as you can see. If we look down the top tube, uh, you can't see them at all. Okay, I just got my uh, all my screwdrivers and Allen keys there because I've got to take some stuff out to show you around. Um, and that uh, we've got new Ortega pedals, as you know. Um, let's look around. Ah oh, yes, I've got um, this stuff, uh, which is just a kind of a cable wrap. I'll show you through that. Basically, we're going to look at uh, the synchro shift on the 1132 cassette. I haven't altered the chain at all. I've screwed the B screw right in, which we can have a look at there. B screw is right in. I only did that this morning. I didn't do it when I first put it on, but I found for some reason number seven and um, whatever number seven is, it's the 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be the 20 and the 32 were a bit rattly. Um, so I've screwed the B screw in, that, crew, that cures the 32, and I just did a micro shift adjustment on the seven, and that cured that up. So um, first of all, we're gonna look at the synchro shift, then we're going to look at the through axles, then we're going to look at these bottles. See you soon. Okay, so we've set it up into the 5011. So, as I start pedaling, what I'm going to do is just take it up, show you this synchro shift. So, up the cassette we go. So we're now in the 28, 5028. The next one will shift. Uh, the synchro shift won't let me go into 50-32. So it's into the 34 and it's dropped down one, two, three cogs. So we've got one, two, three. There we go, into the 50, 30, uh, sorry, the 34, 32. Yeah? Now, as we come back down, it will shift back into the 50. Available gear, there we go. I didn't have hold of the pedal properly. <laughs> it just spat me off. So we'll go all the way up quickly. There's the synchro shift. I'm coming down. There's the synchro shift. Perhaps you wouldn't go up and down that quickly, but you get the drift. So that's synchro shift. Works a treat. 32 tooth cassette on the back, um, didn't lengthen the chain, adjusted the B screw I said is a little bit, so I've got a compact crank, 1132 on the back, awesome. Let's move on to the skewers. Okay, so we're back. Um, whereas you would normally undo the through axle from the other side, uh, this one you undo through the frame side, yeah? It's tightened to 10 newton meters, so, Let's just spin that round until it gets bored. And yep, it's out. So I'll take them out and then uh, we'll weigh them, measure them against the Yolios. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Um, so, first, Yolio supplied through axles. Um, you'll notice the bolt is missing, or the, the nut, and that's because I'm using it with the 
ones that I bought from Germany. So, quick measure up, quick recap. Yolio ones, uh, pretty much 160, if I can get that in focus, 169 for the, for the back and 125 for the front. So, um, as you know, if you've been following me, um, the axle didn't come through far enough um, out of the bike frame. So, what I did is I scoured the world, the whole world, and I've managed to get these. These are extra light uh, through axles. They are handleless, as you know, I didn't want any handles. Um, I just wanted it smooth, clean. And as I said before, the uh, two seconds, as I reach down and get something, you want uh, you do them up from the non uh, handle side, if you like, because that would be a handle. So you do them up from the threaded end, yeah. Just with the Allen key there, doesn't go in that far, about that far. So I got these from Germany, they are not cheap. Um, as you can see, it is an extra light black lock 12.5D, which is 125 mil, which is the perfect length. It's an M12 by 1.5 pitch thread, which was beautiful. Um, six mil Allen key. Unfortunately, um, if you remember, I wanted a six mil Allen key hole because I wanted to use the head off of my DT Swiss through axles that were too short. Um, that six mil bit doesn't go in far enough, so I can't use the handle for those. And tight end to 10 newton meters. Uh, good job, I've got a torque wrench. So that is the front. Now the rear, extra light. Black lock 12.1, it's 172 mil M12 by 1.5 pitch thread. It's an E through 10 newton meter with six mil hex key again. Oh, I'm looking through the camera trying to put it in. It only goes in that far. Okay. Super light. Um, you'll probably notice that this one's got a shiny end and that one's got a black end. Yeah. The reason for that is I, I sanded down this end. Now, um, when I was putting them in, I actually put this through the through the Dralia side. And there's a little hole, or um, yeah, an indent in the Dralia side, which this didn't go in. So the axle wasn't long enough to stick out the end of the bike. So I took about a quarter of a mil off of this, um, off of this end, and it went in. And then I discovered I'd been putting it in the wrong way around. So um, the hole is actually for the for the knot, yeah, um, yeah. So I sanded it down for nothing. It still works. I mean, I just put it in the other way around. Onto the knot itself. This is a Yolio knot, as you can tell, and it's a little bit shorter than when we last looked at it. I have um, filed this down. Now I took about two mil off of this knot, so it should be twelve mil, and it is. Um, let me come back up, see if I can get that in shot. If we start on the two. It's 12 mil. The reason for that is so now when I screw it in, when I screw it in through the bike, it sits flat, it sits flush the end of the length of the skew of the through axle. I can't lengthen the through axle. 172 was the longest one I could find with a 1.5 pitch thread. I already had a bolt, so I wasn't going to spend extra money on a on a bolt, a nut, a bolt, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I got at least 12 mil of thread um, to hold this, to hold my back wheel on. 
So let's get on with the weighing. I haven't weighed them before, so this will be a first for me. Let's get the scales in. Uh, that's unit. I always press the wrong button. Okay, they are zeroed and it's on grams. So we're going to weigh the Yolio back one. It is 78 grams. 78. Let's weigh the extra light one. It's 30 grams. Yolio front. 75 grams. Extra light front. 22 grams. Now, I got these from r2bike.com. Not Starbike in the end, Starbike. And uh, they never seemed to get any in stock, the ones I wanted. Um, so I ended up going to r2bike.com. These things are not cheap. They are about 79 euros each. Um, hopefully they'll last the life of the bike. Um, that would be very cool. So, um, if you want some of that length, or if you've got a, a Yolio R6 Aero disc, um, these are some good through axles for you. R2Bike.com, Extra Light, Black Lock, um, through axles, 16, or 172 mil and 125 mil. Super light. Okay. Um, let's move on. Ah, I've just noticed while my bike's upside down, DT Swiss lock rings. We'll have a look at them quick and uh, then we'll get onto those bottles. Just lifted my back wheel out of its mount. Uh, DT Swiss lock ring instead of a Shimano center lock, we've got a DT Swiss lock you use the bottom bracket tool to do them up fantastic and there's also one on the front zoop, zoom across to the front and there it is just move that chair out of the way sorry about that there is the dt swiss lock ring okay perfect they're not cheap either they cost me about 15 pounds each so gulp okay before we go on to the um water bottles and the mount. Let's have a look at this stuff. This is just computer cable uh, cable wrap. As you can see, you just untwist it. You then just twist it around the cable. Um, I've got 10 meters of it, I think, or five meters. Cost me about four quid off of Amazon. It's just a, a wrap, yeah? So I've got my DI2 cable and my brake cable wrapped in this, just so they can move independently, but it looks like one cable. That was just an idea of mine I saw. Um, let's get on to those bottles. These bottles I saw down at my local bike shop, um, well, I actually only saw one of them. I think it was priced about 40 something, 50 pounds. Um, went onto e uh, ebay.co.uk, 22.99. So I ordered two of them. Um, they pull out quite easily. The mount is quite a, quite a hard bit there. You've got a movement up and down. I've got them as high up as they'll go at the moment. And basically the bottle's got this notch out of it, see? Um, it's quite thin. It holds 500 mil. It's got a, like a squeezy top, like a sports drink top. Yeah. It's got that membrane and um, you simply twist it off there's that membrane I was talking about yeah and then you can fill it up click it on um, it's got a gauge down the back here we are max is 500 mil and um, some bump on the bottom but to put it in you simply locate the notch in the bottom and just push it in and it's and it's pretty tight, yeah? <laughs> locate the notch, push it in. Same with this one. Locate the notch, push it in. I only normally ride with that one. I don't normally ride with that one on, but, but um, as I said, they're very thin. If I just come over the top of it, it's almost the same width as the 
tube. As I said from the top, you can't see them. They're very, very thin. If I can't try and do a front profile, yeah, they hardly stick out at all. Yeah, so I thought that would be, uh, those would be pretty cool. As I said, they're not, I mean, they're expensive for a water bottle, but I didn't want a big fat round bottle sticking out of my aero frame. Um, haven't adjusted anything else, uh, apart from those new things. I'm gonna bleed the brakes up soon because they're very spongy. Yeah. And that's probably because I've just had it upside down, but super spongy. Yeah, I can almost get that to the um, to the handlebar. And there's that uh, there's that wrap. It just makes it look as though it's one cable from the front. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so that is my update on new bits. So we've done. Uh, what do we do? Cassette. We've done lock rings, we've done through axles, water bottles, and that and that cable. Um, yeah, still liking it. That's what they look like. See when they're in, it's flat, flat to the front, and the nut now only sticks out this much. See, there's the nut with the through axle going through it. So um, I've got to use. Uh, to tighten it up to 10 newton meters, I've got to use a um, a little spanner there. Whoops, as he drops the bike over, we'll just leave it there because we're almost finished. So, uh, thanks for watching this update. Um, hopefully I'll have some more videos for you soon. Take care, keep safe riding, and we will see you later. Bye! Take care!